What is up guys? You remember these cups from last week's video. If you haven't seen that, check it out right here. And this camo is going to make an amazing background for some wood grain. I'm going to use this deer guy right here. Put a name on the back of this one, not on this one, because this one will be for you guys. And I'm still waiting on 25,000 views on my last video there where I did this one too. And 25,000 views and I'll give this one away to one of you guys. So all you gotta do is just go watch the video and comment below. Follow instructions at the end of the video. Our first step is to take and sand this down with some 400 grit and water. Then we're gonna spray it a beautiful, boring white. Doesn't that sound fun? Oh gosh, what is that? Jeez. All right, let's go. Okay, we got the tumblers sanded i got the what you want to do is you're looking to get the shiny off as much as possible because that gives it tooth for the epoxy so it's not just on a slicky non-porous surface it's better adhesion and while i was doing that i got to looking at and i was gonna do a two-toned wood for the deer guy but I love this camo background so much that I want the deer to be the camo background and then uh, the name. And then I'm going to do like a G-O-D uh, peekaboo I don't know what you call it. Let's put this guy on right now. All right, we got our stencil on there. I want to point out that this is the Cricut removable vinyl. Don't use the permanent stuff because it'll leave a residue in the... Uh, make a mess. So our next step is to spray this white and let's go. There. Now we let that dry and then we'll do our woody grainy. So now it's dry and we are ready to do our alcohol inks. And you may be wondering, I've seen your alcohol ink video before, but so I'm going to do it different just so I can just show you. There's no wrong way. Probably is, but we're not going to do any of those. So, you know, usually I use a cheap brush, chip, cheap, chip, chip, cheap brush like this, but we're not going to do that today. I'm going to use these two little skinnies and I got two different sizes, but focus, depending on how thick I'm feeling. Wait, what? Anyway, so I got ginger, caramel or caramel. And latte. I know a lot of you don't like latte. Latte? Latte. Because it's, it, sometimes it can turn a little green. But to me, that's kind of desirable. It gives it more of a natural, woody. Maybe the wood's getting moldy. I don't know. Or mossy. So you may be wondering, why do you have them in these little coops? Why don't you just put them on the cup and then paint them like that? Because I took these squirt and then mixed another little squirt of alcohol in there to thin it out to make it flow it's just gonna be different just come on so let's start off with caramel i like to do a little dab there and just hold it however you want to and just draw a little line this is your wood grain and i'm gonna make it look at this check this out i'm gonna make it just come to a little nice little doodad right here i don't know what you call that just a little design i don't know who cares i like to dab it off so it doesn't run just just be free draw what you think wood looks like get your old chunk of wood go in the woods get you some wood and draw it in there and then listen the because we put the rubing alcohol in there it's going to kind of smooth out so it's cool but if you like the choppy look which I do just go over it a few times like this you know as it dries it'll still keep drawing and making choppy stuff I mean you don't have to do it like this you can do it straight I don't care don't judge me so here you go push it down get you a little more it doesn't matter listen this wood Who's going to tell you you painted wood wrong? Hey, that wood doesn't go that way. All wood in nature goes however it wants to. This is 
I'll just dip a little latte. There's Paisley. She's going nuts. We got an Amazon delivery. Crazy dog. Look, just do whatever. It doesn't matter. And then dab it off. And watch this. You dab it, it still streaks because there's the rubbing alcohol in there. So let's just do that and make yourself a little happy. Kind of hard to work like this. I like to grab it by the handle and then hold it upside down and work this way. Just uh, it's easier for me. One thing I found that I like to do is get this dry brush and pull. Get it going that way. Look at that. Look at that realness. Look at that. So you keep your... I like, I, dude, I use this brush and do that for everything. This is my Tacket brush, my Mod Podge brush, my, yeah, everything. And you dry it off and you beat the devil out of it. So let's go over that again. You get whatever color you want and you draw your little line. Let's, uh, let's do it right here where you can see really good. So let's draw a line. We're going to touch this other spot. Bring it all the way up. That's your little separator there. See that? Then you dry your brush off more. Because what this does is you're going to pull it and it's going to streak very gently. Barely even touching it. And see it pulls and puts those wood grain lines in it. What? Watch it as I pull by. I'm trying to get a good angle for you. See that? Super easy. Real light, nice and gentle. There you go. Isn't that pretty? That's some pretty wood there. We're gonna do the same thing here. So, you know, the other one, chip brush, I just went all straight up and down. So we put a boot here. We're gonna do one like so right here. And then we're gonna do a knot right there. Doing it this way, you can be more strategic if you'd like. We're almost done with another. Look at that. Doesn't that look like some fresh cut wood? Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's take some latte and caramel for this one. Why not? It's your world. A lot of people say, wow, how'd you get that knot to look like that? It's really not that hard. Oh, <laughs> so, so just keep going, work your way around the cup. Don't be too picky. Just Start somewhere. I mean, you can start right here in the middle. If you wanted a knot right there that you knew for sure, just start right there. You know, that way you give you, draw your lines like this and give yourself a little road map to go by. Just, you can make them straight if you wanted. It doesn't matter. Put a little one right there. You don't have to work all in a row if you don't want to. See, look at that. There's your wood grain tutorial for the day. I know you guys don't want to watch forever. So I'm going to speed things up a little bit and then we'll get finished. See some of this little, they got a word for it. Word will be right here, what that technique is called, because I don't know what it is right now. You take the brush and you push it and you, 
like that just to make that. I found that out by accident. It was really cool. Pay attention. Pay attention. Hey, right, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to clean up the bottom because if you remember, it's camo down there. I got, I didn't tape it off doing white spray paint or anything, but I think that'd be cool to clean up the rim and make it look just camo on the bottom. There. Isn't that pretty? Next, I take a pencil and I kind of sketch out where I think I want my uh, camo to show through. And remember, if you have a stencil on, this is going to be camo. So you want to kind of think about that and try to balance it out. Don't take these off yet. We'll use that to protect us in case we screw something up. All right, so I got my rough idea laid out. Now this is just to give you some rough idea so you can help balance things out. It's not set in stone or wood. So what I want to do now is show, hey, get over here, right, over here, here we go. Show you three different ways that you can take this stuff off, depending on what design you want, what style, or what is easier to you, or I think that's all I got. Showed you, number one, look, I did this, if you like that, I did the two-tone two, and two -tone thing, got a little border. I'll show you how I like to do it. So. Step number one, or you can just, thing number one, is just, you know, take off the bulk with a pooper towel, because it's going to leave a mess and it's going to get smeary. So you're going to want to do that first. Or if you don't like using this in your finger, you could take a paintbrush, dip it in the acetone, dab it off because you don't want it running out, and just kind of go like this, which seems to work really good, really quick keep cleaning it off. This is uh, how I do it. So you can get your lines too, but don't worry about your edges yet. Get the inside cleaned up because if you get your edges and you hadn't cleaned this, you're going to move it around and then your edges will get further and further down than where you exactly want them. So this is my favorite method. It's a flat brush and just can do it so cool, so neat. But the best way is to not drag, but to push. See there? Look at that. After you finish your brushing and then cleaning it up, go over it a few times, get that haze off. I mean, it is going to be hazy because you sanded it, so don't worry. You'll gloss it right back up. Then you want to take a Q-tip. If you want a little more white, this is very, you got to be very careful with this, okay? Like if you're good with this, just leave it. But if not, you take this is rubbing alcohol and you notice that's pretty wet. So you want to rub almost all of that off because what you're going to do is you do it down here. So you, in case you just want to see what it's like and you're just going to trace it kind of scratchy trace it. Now this will take off some more of the white. So just take your time. Don't push down too hard because it does take off the white spray paint if you see and then you know it's gonna get dirty clean it off dab off some more and you see it leaves this cool little ring to see where it's taking off the white I'm pushing harder because I wanted it to move it that way see the difference from here it's got that cool little border which that's really rad as opposed to where I didn't do it it's all in preference and matter of whatever you want to do and how much work you want to put into it. But I really dig that. It's going to look really good. So there's no need for you guys to watch me do all of this. And it's like the other geode in this video here. It's time consuming. Get you a video, Duncan Custom Airbrush video. I hear that guy's pretty, fun, pretty entertaining to watch. So you can watch one of his videos and kick back and just do this but uh do it nice and slow be careful don't get aggravated if you do you need to do this all right i'll be back in a little bit okay so because you did all this nice beautiful woodwork and you don't want to screw it up so let's get it done all right, so i'll show you guys again i know you could just rewind it and watch again but i like showing you different areas and you might see something different that you didn't see the last time. So I've got it cleaned up. 
get you up to speed. I did my little brush thing. Then I took this and acetone and I cleaned it up even better because I like, I like using this because you could twist it as you go because you get one side dirty and you're smearing. But if you're twisting and getting new sides, it, it goes quicker and lasts longer. You know what I mean? Makes sense. Don't be scared of Q-tips. You're not even supposed to stick them in your ear anyway. So just, this is probably what they're made for. Nice and slow. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, get it white. Or, I mean, it's not going to be perfect because it's wood and it's organic and that's your excuse for it not being perfect. Plus, perfect is boring. All right, we are finished with this. And if you want to see a more in-depth of me doing this doggy-shaped one, as one of my viewers, subscribers mentioned, uh, now that I look at it, it kind of looks like a dinosaur, like, roar. so that's pretty funny. But if you want to see more in-depth of how I take this off real time, no cuts, I went and did a live video this past Wednesday, and you can go watch that right here if you want to. It's only 20 minutes or so, and we have fun. It's, we goof off. So now we're going to take this deer head off and the name and show you what that looks like. Hey. Ooh, sweet. That turned out beautiful. Now, the only thing now is to epoxy, unless if you wanted to, you could take very gently some rubbing alcohol and make a outline around this guy, which I'm not because I like it the way it is. But if you like that, you just gently take your rubbing alcohol, make a little line and you really get that off and make it white. But listen, if it's good, don't screw with it because you'll mess it up. Just pay attention to what you like and don't like or would do differently on the next one and just go with that. Listen, that's one of a lot of people's problems. Maybe mine. I'm trying to work on myself. But I could, like, my curiosity says, well, what if I got the brown off and left this white? It would pop more and I'd make an outline around it and that would make it stand out and it looks cool the way it is. And nobody else would ever know the difference if I did all that extra work to it. Just try it out next time if you really want to. But if you were going to do that, I would do it on this one and, you know, do it before I took the stencil off. That way you don't have to clean all this intricate stuff up. And if you took off too much, you could paint it back white really easily. This one, not so much. See what I'm telling you? about if it's good go with it it's art it's beautiful you did a great job my job is to help you guys learn and to make you free yourself up to become better artists uh, so that's why i want to give you that advice on that and the tips because if you do say you were to try to do the other things that you think might be cool or might not uh, that somebody probably wouldn't even notice anyway but then you messed it up what is the difference this is what i want you to think about what is the difference between you epoxying this and getting a lot of compliments and looking great as opposed to you messing this up and then not even having a, a piece you're it's, it's messed up think of the win and the negative you know that's all i gotta say hey be still now Let's do the reveal. Perfect.